name's Eric Shida. I'm the owner of Ghost Gallery in Bethpage, New York. I'm on Ink Master Season 5. You can check me out on Facebook at Ghost Gallery or Eric Shuda and my Instagram, Eric Shuda Tattoo. I got into tattooing around 1996. A good friend of mine, Richie Bulldog, lived on my block. We were really good friends. And um, his cousin happens to be Sean Vasquez, who was a very big time tattooer in New York City at the time. And I started getting tattooed by him when I was younger. And uh, he was opening up his own shop with Michael Bellamy called Triple X Tattoo. I became an apprentice and then basically started tattooing. At the age of 18, I was publishing my first book called New York City Tattoo. And then we opened up Red Rocket Tattoo and I worked there for another 12 years and uh, basically separated from them and opened up my own shop, which is now Ghost Gallery. My experience on Ink Master is pretty amazing. You know, I heard a lot of things that people said that this is fake, that's fake. You know, I'll be honest, it's all real. I lived it. It was a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. You know, it was a very competitive feeling to have going against so many people. And uh, I think uh, people will be really impressed with this season. It was uh, a lot of work, a lot of hard work. And uh, I'm really proud of it, actually. My rival on Ink Master Rivals was Don Petticourt from Maryland. He was basically my rival because we met at a uh, casting call. And, uh, you know, basically from there it spawned into social media bickering back and forth, me criticizing his tattoos, him criticizing my tattoos. And, you know, I finally wanted to just settle the score. So we went on Ink Master, and uh, you guys are going to have to see what happens. First tattoo I ever got was uh, basically a graffiti drawing of myself. Uh, I was a big graffiti artist back in the day. I got tired of getting arrested, so I became a tattoo artist. And uh, basically it was done by Sean Vasquez, and it's on my leg. So it's kind of a rough representation of myself back then. And uh, yeah, basically spawned the whole career in tattooing and getting tattooed. And uh, it was a pretty amazing experience being tattooed by such a famous tattooer and uh, he made the experience really pleasurable and uh, basically that's it started a whole career for myself you know I've been getting tattooed for what 18 years now um, you know all my tattoos pretty much are Japanese inspired as far as my arms are concerned I have a food dog fighting a snake so good against evil and on this side I have a rough representation of Ganesh which is uh, elephant god but we turn well needles uh, who is the tattooer that did it turned it into a Ganesha puss. So it's an octopus turn, that's actually an elephant turning into an octopus and a Tibetan skull because I like symmetry and I like things to match up. And then my nickname is Crybaby because everybody in high school used to say I look like Johnny Depp from the movie. And uh, you know, my whole back is done. I got my family crest, which is an Austrian crest of my mom's side. And uh, it's two lions with a big knight's helmet in the center. I'll show you guys that. And it has a lot of meaning because my mom's family was really important back back in the day in Austria. So it was just paying homage to her family and everything like that. And I just think it's a really strong representation of strength with the two lines. Well, when we were opening up Red Rocket in uh, Levittown on Wants Avenue, we had a lot of problems with the town just because people, you know, have this preconceived notion that tattooers are bad guys, bikers, outlaws. You know, I'm not going to say that some aren't, um, but we're, you know, I try to be an upstanding citizen and do the best I can. So I got a tattoo on my chest representing the struggle. We went through that because we spent a lot of money trying to get it opened. So I got a portrait of myself getting my teeth knocked out by life because it was a pretty stressful time financially and just dealing with a lot of the BS going on with uh, politics within uh, Nassau County. Thanks for listening to my story. Check out Ghost Gallery and Beth page and look out for my new website, ghostgallery.com hopefully. And just follow me and thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.